Oh, let me start over here too. It's Howard Stern on this date and we're going live. Hello everybody, I started late, but look who is here already. Look at all these comments. I gotta get through these before I even say hello and sing and do all the fun things, but welcome to Howard on this date live. Uh, what we do here, of course, is we, uh, we say hello, we look at some moments from on this date, we talk about sports, we talk about life, uh, we talk about my dog. I know Aunt Cindy wants to see the dog today, but he's up sleeping. Let me change the angle here so you can see the Aerosmith shirt. Let's see what people are saying in the chat here. Hello, Lance, first. Good job, Lance. Charlie Don't Surf, second. He wanted to be first. Congrats to Lance. Uh, Lance says he'll switch with Charlie. All right, these two are just having a lover's quarrel. I love it. This is great. Looking at all the comments, just running through them. What's your favorite stern personality, Lance? Is uh, what Charlie Don't Surf asked. Riley in sour shoes, he says. Yes, Lance says it's showtime. Hello, 515, hello. Start in the Elvis theme, three, two, one. Roll call. It's time for the roll call, everybody. Now, I did check this out, and uh, let me see if I've got those on. Just can't miss. Just can't miss. Well, we just can't miss. With a beat like this. It's the joy. Oh! It's the roll call. 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 It's the roll It's the roll It's the roll call. It's the It's the roll 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 I'm calling out of Brownsville, and I'm here to shout it. It's Shonda on the phone, and you know I'm about to shout it. Brownsville, 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 Brownsville,
four weeks number one in 1982, including this week. 1986, the number one song on this date, Rock Me Amadeus. A lot of versions, a lot of different versions of that song. I was a fan. Um, Falco, name of the band, German band. Falco singing Rock Me Amadeus. They actually were number one for two weeks in a row in 1986. Let's fast forward. What year do we want to fast forward to? Let's see. Anybody have a year that they're interested in the number one song on this date? This song, I hate. Not a fan. We talked about my dad yesterday. Number one song in 1989, The Living Years by Mike and the Mechanics. Now, this, this fella, his, uh, Falco was an individual? Is that true? I thought Falco was a band. How about that? Uh, Mike and the Mechanics, The Living Years, a song about his dad uh, dying and uh, it was sad as shit. Living Years, number one, second week in a row on this date in 1989. Hello, everybody. Come on in and say, say your name and tell us where you're from. We're doing roll call. We're going to be doing a little Howard Stern on this date. I didn't prepare anything. Yesterday, we had just a nice, fun conversation between me and the commenters. I noticed that uh, I wasn't, uh, I was, I was probably trying too hard to answer comments as quickly as possible. Today, I'm going to take some time. So if there's questions or comments, uh, Black Crows were on the show today. The show was terrible again today, if we're calling a spade a spade. Uh, let me look here. I did take some notes on that, too. So I did a little homework. Not a lot, but I did a little bit. Here's, what's, here's what happened on the show today. Let's see. Started off with uh, a lot of Black Crows talk. Uh, should they be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Uh, so that was the talk there. Then they talked about Diddy and him being raided and uh, did a little bit on that. I, I, I passed through that with King of Ball Blacks was part of that. Taylor Swift and uh, Travis Kelsey vacation talk and all the coverage it's getting. So they did that. I skipped over that. They talked about The Bachelor for a little bit. I skipped over that. Uh, Shohei Otani talk for a real quick second with John Hine. We had a lot of Ronnie stuff. We had Mike Perlman fluff. We had some imitators, blah, blah, blah. And then the Black Crows were on. So they had two very quick segments. And then the Black Crows were on for two straight hours. They did Remedy. They did uh, Hey, Hey, What Can I Say? And they did a new song. I love the Black Crows. I'm a big fan. Um, and I like the first interview Howard did with him. But today was no bueno, in my opinion. Lance, that song played while my dad passed in the hospital. Sorry to be a downer. Exactly. That song is just not fun. Like... Who wants to be reminded, oh, this song was playing when my dad died. Yeah, let's let's make a song and listen to it. Uh, hello, Sippy Slippy. You bailed before the Black, Black Crows today. Yeah, it was uh, it was a painful listen, as usual. I th uh, there was some Ronnie time, of course. Uh, but very, very fluffy and very um, nondescript. I am mean, again, we're, we're here to talk about the show in the past because the show in the past was better. But uh, just gave you a rundown of today. Um, you know, Howard just, it was Chris and Rich Robinson doing a lot of the talking. Again, I'm a very, I do love the Black Crows. Uh, little known fact, my first concert I ever saw was Aerosmith. I believe it was in 1990. I believe it was July of 1990. At the old arena, formerly the Checker Dome. And the opening band was the Black Crows. Uh, I went with my older brother. I was, what was I, probably 12, 13 at that point? And uh, the Black Crows opened and we're like, who are these guys? like this band so um always have been a fan of the black crows um they sound good new album out today sippy says i love howard but have been bailing a few minutes into interviews yeah um we talked about this yesterday the interviews you know and it's funny because like it goes from casey musgraves to black crows and hart's going to be in there and jake gyllenhaal it's always the same people usually so he's even running out, of, I think he's running out of things to ask. He's asking Rich Robinson, the guitar player, about his guitar. Um, so The Clash was your first concert in 1984, says Lance. So that was during the Rock the Casbah days. Um, they broke up, I think, soon after, right? Mick, Mick Jones was the leader of that band, I believe. I like music. I can talk music with you. And then Big Audio Dynamite was created after, I believe, The Clash. So that's what I remember. So I'm guessing that might have been, was that a farewell tour? I'm not sure. But um, we're going to be looking at uh, Howard on this date, but welcome in and thank you for coming. Again, I say hello to everybody. Uh, more people coming into the chat here. Started a little later today than usual. Probably will not be on tomorrow. I'll be watching the Redbirds take on the Dodgers. I don't believe the Cardinals will win that game tomorrow. I don't believe they'll win on Friday. I don't think they'll win on Saturday either. And I, there's a possibility they don't win on Sunday. 
Then they'll go play the Padres. Yeah, I don't know if they'll win those games either. I believe they start 0-7. I don't believe that. But I think the Cardinals will actually start 2-5. and Maybe 1-6. and But that's why we will not be here tomorrow uh, for you. But, uh, so yeah, we were just doing music. Oh, let's look at 1992 on this date. Who did we have? We had Save the Best for Last by Vanessa Williams. Was she a Miss America? I know, Sparky's up. So Sparky today, um, this guy, this guy, he's a hybrid. Okay, so this is a Morky. This is my dog. We're talking about people love it. He's not barking, as you can hear, because he was barking all day. His tail is all red. Like he, I, I, I leave him alone for like 30, 30 minutes. I come back and his tail is bleeding almost. He likes to lick himself. Yeah, he's like me. He watches his dad. Um, but yeah, his tail's all bad. So anyway, um, thank you, Lance. Yes, she was. Well, I guess we're answering the question about Vanessa Williams. Saving the Best for Last was the number one song in 1992. And I asked, was she a Miss America? So Sparky's not doing well. Um, we will get him on one of these live casts soon, I promise. 1993 number one song, Informer by Snow, Canadian rapper. Um, evidently those words were not even real. So that's uh, Snow. Let's take a look at some Howard on this date. Fortunately for me, um, there was some off days here. Oh, in, the tw in 2000, it was the best of Stern. It was a Monday. Let's see what happened in 2001 on the Stern show. March 27th, 2001. Just Doing this on the fly, folks. It was on a Tuesday. Uh, let's see. Craig Gass was in doing all of his uh, voices. We had John Sally call in. We had Gary Garver doing some interviews. He interviewed Gary Busey, Bridget Fonda, Sean Young. And these guys weren't even in their prime at this point. But uh, imagine doing these interviews now. Gary Garver, wonderful uh, person to me because he's been here, I think, three times on this program and always fun to talk to. Uh, we had a lie detector test, uh, lie detector test for Cabby to see if he's, I guess, gay. And, uh, da, 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 da. I'm not going to read those. I like doing my editorial. Well, are you sexually attracted to men? He, he wasn't truthful there, Howard. He wasn't truthful. I already did a better editorial, but that, that was on this date in 2001. Oh, it's, you want to look at the results? According to Ed, Fred was deceptive about all of the uh, gay questions, but holding the back, uh, holding back. Crazy Cabby was asked different questions. Uh, Ed was worn out, <laughs> kind of like me. So Ed was worn out on this date in two thousand one. Let's take a look at two thousand two, March twenty seventh, two thousand two, on the show. It was a Wednesday, just like today, a hump day. Let's see. Do, 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 do. So Howard um, was asked about doing a speaking engagement and talked about how much people made for speaking engagements. Gloria Stefan made two hundred grand. Jay Leno and uh, Letterman and Bill Cosby all made one hundred fifty grand. So I'm guessing at this point now they make about five hundred grand. Well, Bill Cosby, I don't know about him. Uh, but you could get Kathy Lee Gifford at twenty five grand and uh, Carol Alt at twenty five grand. Who wants to date Debbie Schlussel? Do you guys remember when Debbie Schlussel was a big part of the program back in two thousand two? So what, 9-11 happens, and then this woman calls in, and she was very, you know, hey, Howard, I'm here to talk about the uh, Pakistanis, and, and uh, oh, man, who's that? Sal, Sal with a super chat. Thank you very much. It's time to stop and recognize that Sal has, giving, uh, has given to the program. I appreciate that so much. Good to see you as well, which is a reminder, folks. Super chats are available. I never try to ask for them, but I really appreciate them coming through. Super thanks, super chats. There's memberships available. Check out the description for all the fun stuff. Good to see you, bud. I like to stop down. But Debbie Schlissel, back in 2002, was a big part of the show, and so they were having her on. Um, I wonder what happened. That was somebody I was thinking about getting on this program because, like, don't people enjoyed her? She was a kook, though. But she always had, I mean, she seems like perfect for the time right now. Like back then, you know, CNN and even probably Fox News was very kind of sort of, I wouldn't say down the middle, but like you would have, you know, normal news people presenting. And now you have Debbie, or now you have like the kooks that are all on those stations. Lance says get her. All right, I'll have to look. Let me, where's my notes? Tomorrow, I'm bringing in a notepad. 
I'm gonna write this stuff down. Although I, I have my phone here, so let me let me add her name, Debbie Schlissel. You guys just kind of talk amongst yourselves as I put Debbie Schlissel. We'll see how she uh, ended up on the show so much. But that was that was uh, that was 2002. She was on the program. Uh, let's go back and see what other year. Let's take a look at, uh, 2003. Let's see if they were on the air. This would have been a Thursday. We had some stuttering John discussions to start the show. Uh, let's see. Howard said he got John's wife, Suzanne, on the phone. Didn't even say hello to her. So just some stuttering John stuff here. Nothing too much going on. By the way, this is when I really enjoyed the show. Like, 2002, 2003, 2000. Well, not one, because Artie wasn't there yet. But, like, this first hour was always good. It was always entertaining and always good. Um, it wasn't, like, guest-heavy. It wasn't caller-heavy. It was just Howard and the, and the gang bantering about. Bantying? Bantering? We're looking at Howard on this date in the 2000s. See, now, the day that I don't come prepared is the day no one wants to chat. Hello, come in and chat. Say hello. We did a roll call. Do I need to do another roll call? All right, okay. You guys say I need to roll. So, or we started off the program with the roll call. Just can't miss. Just can't miss. Well, we just can't miss. With a beat like this. It's the joint. Oh! It's a roll call. That sounds good, and that's a B. No, that's uh, Lisa G talking about the roll call. <laughs> this is a rough one today, folks. Um, yeah, yesterday we had a lot of folks in here coming in and talking to, you know, wanting to see pictures and stuff. Um, and I had a whole list of stuff prepared. You know what I could do? I mean, I could go back to yesterday's stuff on this date, right? Hi there, Tom. Thank you. Tom says, just found your page the other day. Well, welcome in. This is what we do. Normally, there's way, there's more people. So, And I started at a different time, so maybe we won't mess with the time. We're going to do this on weekdays, Monday, th Tuesday, Wednesday, sometimes Thursdays, maybe Fridays, 4 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Eastern. I'm guessing because I changed the time today. And that's my fault. I had stuff to do. I had a lot of Sparky's butts itching and barking, and now he's up there barking. He's the dog. Uh, but thank you for coming, and tell your friends to subscribe and be part of the program. As we look back on, on moments on this date from the program that we all used to love, uh, and now let's go back to the comments. Lance is here. Debbie is still around, and she looks better now than she did then. All right, so Debbie Schlissel is what we're talking about there. We'll see if we can get Debbie Schlissel. Hi, Howard. It's Debbie. I'm just here to talk about the Palestines. Palestinian. I don't, I don't even know what she would talk about. I'm, make, I'm making that part up. Uh, today is March 27th, I said, right? All right. So not any shows on this date uh, in 04 or 05. So let's take a look at the satellite years and see what happened. Again, normally I come in a little more prepared. Today, I, I just wasn't as prepared as I'd like to be. I got to say that. All right. March 27th, 2006. We had no George Takai this week. We had uh, Fred movie controversy uh, we had some uh, arty weekend discussion. Vilmer Valderrama visited. I remember this. This shows up on uh, YouTube a lot. Uh, da, 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 da. Howard's loud limo heater. We had Jillian Grace visit. You know, Jillian Grace is from this area, by the way. She lives right down the road. I don't know if she's still here, but uh, she was made by Howard. Um, one of the most classic shows ever. Of course, it was a classic for us because it was uh, someone from our little area here from Washington, Missouri, but, um, and father, or she was the, the mother of David Spade's child and still is not that that changed. So there's a possibility David Spade's out here wandering around with his child that he had with a playboy playmate. Uh, so yes. Hello, Tom. You said the pet cock. I don't, oh, I, I think I know what that is, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so that was 06. We had a good show back in 2006. What about 2007? Let's see here. Uh, today is March 27th, right? All right, that's so we're looking at Tuesday, March 27th. Hi there, Charlie Don't Surf. He's back. All right, thanks for saying you're back. We had Riley Martin show negotiations on this date. We had Eric the Midget calling in about Sanjaya. 
We had Beth O discussions for a good 20 minutes, so that had to be bad. Evil David Letterman intelligence game. I'm guessing that was wonderful. Uh, Robin Leach visited. So this is a 20, March 27th, 2007. Uh, I'm trying to think if I would have enjoyed this program. I really enjoyed when they were angering. Now, who knows if they were doing this on purpose, but uh, when they had Eric the Midget all worked up because they were voting for Sanjaya on American Idol. He was definitely angry. Let me take a look here at the comments so I don't miss anything. Hello, Doug. Doug says, Debbie was the female Elliot Often. Well, that's not nice. Uh, Charlie Don't Surf says, I have to say hi to my new friend, Lancey. Yeah, you guys are new friends. Lance says, Petcock was the value to turn the heat on and off in the limo. Oh, that's right. Okay, good good call, everybody. I remember that. I just don't remember that. But uh, thank you for uh, remembering that because I didn't. How about 2008? On this date, it was a Thursday. Uh... Howard's Gay Tebow misses a show, so let's see what he was trying to watch. Let's take a guess. Is it Bachelor? Howard said his Tebow cut off a bunch of stuff, including The Biggest Loser. So Howard did not get a chance to see The Biggest Loser. Tom says Ronnie got yelled at for weeks for that. Yeah, I remember. I just I, The word pet cock has not been in my vocabulary for a long, long time. A reminder and a thank you. Who was that? I got to remember that was uh, Sal, who was very nice to join here and uh, do a super chat and a super thanks. Those are available if you're enjoying this program. Um, also, you can become members. So check out the description. I always preload that up and you can buy shirts and have all kinds of fun. But make sure you subscribe. Make sure you're commenting. King. Hello, King. You asked what happened to Stuttering Vic. That's a good question. I don't think he'd be possible to find. But I'm going to put him down as someone that would be quite hey, there's a lot of interns um i am trying actually i gotta do this again uh the intern that came in no it was dean dean the intern and dean was not there long but dean had a major part in the show twice dean 1998 was the referee for the scott the engineer push-ups and then he also i guess harassed roger ebert <laughs> in the hallway because he was a huge movie fan and uh, Dean is still out there, and Dean and I have uh, conversed. So I'm going to try to get him on this program. Um, anybody remember Dean? I feel like I'm an old man when I make these noises and I change. This, I have a very uncomfortable chair that I use here. Debbie Schlussel and Vic. So those are two names from the past. We're looking back at 2008 on this date. Let's see. There was a you know, Elliot Spitzer was in his, uh, having his issues uh, th at this point. Uh, John the Stutterer had a show. Anyway, the Counting Crows come in. <laughs> and then this is where it gets good. Artie uh, slept during the Counting Crows performance back in this date, uh, March 27, 2008. So I don't remember that. I don't know if they showed him while, you know, Adam Duritz is doing Round Here or whatever bad song he was doing. But uh, Artie in his, his, his time where he's sleeping on the show back in March, on this date in 2008. Uh, Jimmy, hello, Jimmy. He said, does Dean, did Dean have a lot of movie tattoos? Seems to be right, I think. I think that sounds right. Um, who, wasn't there? Oh, Chauncey, I'm thinking of Chauncey. Someone who had a really bad tattoo was Chauncey. They had like a whole, like, what, script writing on his back? Um, but yeah, that was, that was Dean. So hello and welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining. Again, uh, we're doing this live all the time. Mondays, definitely Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, or most Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, starting at 4 p.m. Central, except for today, 5 p.m. Eastern. And uh, what we do here is we take a look back at moments on the Stern Show, uh, on this date, and we comment on them. And then uh, the commenters come in, and I discuss things with them, and then we just start talking. And um, that was sort of what happened on this date. I didn't, again, prepare as well as I should have. But I do have my trusty what song was number one on this date in this year. And on this date, in 1997, the number one... Hello there. Sorry, I stop when I see someone say hello. Hi, Churro. Hi from California. We did the roll call a few times. I played uh, the version from 97.1. That was so immensely huge, evidently, according to Lisa G., um, so we played that a couple times. It is funny. 
But hello from California. Thank you for joining today. 1997, the number one song on this date. And it was the third, well, it would be in the middle of a three-week run. It was Wannabe by the Spice Girls. Yeah. Good song. Good video. Uh, so that is going to, I might conclude an, today early uh, because I apologize. I wasn't on time and I wasn't as prepared as I'd like to be. Um, not seeing as much activity as I normally do, and that's fine. Um, it feels like a lot of people like to come here kind of earlier in the week. Uh, but I will look and make sure I don't miss any more comments before I go say goodbye. So let's uh, let's run through these. Hello, Anthony. Anthony asks, whatever happened to Mrs. Stern, like the first one they did? She was a tiny little blonde airhead. She, very hot but dumb. Can't remember her name but I wonder if she's still alive. Her name is Andrea Ownby. Uh, she is alive, and uh, I believe I tried to get her on this program. I can't remember. That was a long time ago. Um, but maybe I need to go back and try that again. Evidently, she's uh, she's around. Um, so so there's that. Lance is saying hello, Charlie. To uh, hi, Charlie. Your new my new buddy. So say thank you for saying hello to Charlie. Everybody say hello to Charlie. Thank you for joining. Um, again, I am getting close to wrapping up early today. Uh, this is when we normally wrap up, but, um, hello. Let's, let's, let's see what Reed says. Hi, I'm a scroller. First time I've seen you, but I like your vibe. Thank you, Reed. I appreciate that. We, uh, we just come here and, uh, we look back at moments on the show. I look back at, uh, things that happened on this date and we, I, I talk to the commenters and see what they, what commenters, not the commenters. Let's be, you know, I'm no, we're not going to say that. Uh, you're not commoners, but thank you, Reed. I appreciate that. Hello, Tom. Tom says she had a kid and named it Beyonce. Is that true? Now we're talking about Miss Howard Stern, I believe, right? But did she actually? And I appreciate. I see all the hearts and things are going up in the chat. Keep loving those things. But that's uh, that's uh, wonderful. Mr. Buffongo's coming in late. Damn it! No, I can stick around. We'll try. I mean, I, we're more people are coming in as as we speak. I see people. You know, they see that we're going live here and we're having fun and they want to be part of the action as well. And that's fine with me. Um, you know, next time, next Monday, April Fool's Day, Sparky. I think Sparky's going to be part of this program. My dog. Uh, Reed says number 502. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means visitor, but hello. Mr. Mafungo says, yes, it is true. Her name is definitely Beyonce. So... That's terrible. I wonder who the father... Who's the father of that child? Because we talked about Jillian Grace earlier, and we know the father is David Spade. And that David Spade might be seen walking around my neighborhood because Jillian Grace is right from these parts. Uh, Vincent says, a Baba Booey to everyone. Hello, Baba Booey to you too, and a Baba Booey to all. Hello. Lance says, first show, a guy here got shot and was in the hospital. Haven't heard from him. His name, Darren, I believe. Hope he's okay. I believe his name was Jared. And that was very, that was very strange. And uh, I know that we continued to con uh, talk to him in the comments. I, he's a, I believe he's a dabble verser, right? Is that from what I remember, Lance? You would know better than me. But uh, yeah, I think, I think his name was Jared and he did bring that up. And well, we've been talking about it since, since. Fa, fa, flow, flow. Thank you, Lance. That's what Lance says. Mr. Mafungo, she already had the kid the first time she came on the Stern Show. Is that true? I don't remember that at all. I didn't know she had a child at that point. What do we think was the deal with her? Do we know? Like, was she, was she, hmm, nah. King says, Miss Howard Stern got in a bad car accident. Yeah, I, I think I kind of remember that. I love when the questions start coming in, so I'm going to read this. Vincent Valentino, this is what we like to do. I like to get kind of, kind of this kind of going on here. Uh, what's your least favorite staffer, past or present? So this is for the group, I'm guessing, and it's for me as well. And least favorite staffer, I'm going to say Howard. <laughs> I'm going to go with Howard right now. Uh, Benji. I don't think Benji has ever made me laugh. I don't, I don't think he writes anything funny, seemingly, because uh, Howard's not been saying anything funny in, in a long time. Uh, so I'm going to go Benji, even though I'm sure I'd get along with him. And his, his Twitter is quite hilarious. I guess he's, he's voting for RFK or he's pumping out for far off K. Uh, Charlie Don't Surf says Jared was shot. This was uh, from a conversation we were talking about a couple weeks ago. Jared came in and talked about being shot, but was here. Uh, you know him. How's he doing, Charlie? He is a Dabbleverse guy, and he knows everything about Stern. Well, I'm glad he comes here. 
Mr. Mufungo is also a Stern expert. Is Jared doing okay? Poor Jared. He was interviewed by KC last week. Okay. Is, is KC still doing the Twitter thing? Because he was doing a live Twitter show and then it stopped. Um, I got to put that. That's, that's who... Uh, KC... KC wanted to do some work with me together, and uh, we had some chats, and we'll see. You know, I like having him on the program. He's been on. I might maybe I'll repost that one. Uh, so, Mister Bufungo, my least favorite is Howard for certain. Um, what do you guys think about Richard Christie? I just feel like he was, you know, funny with the phone calls, and but all the other stuff seems. I don't know. They're sparky. Sparky is now excited. Okay, I'm not going to read that about Jared. But uh, Charlie says Casey's on YouTube almost every night, 9 p.m. Okay, so maybe I need to go check that out. I got to see where he is. An evening podcast on YouTube. Okay, he was doing it on Twitter for a long time. I guess I got to go search this out. Are you guys watching it? Is it good? Um, his live stream tonight. I'll take, I'll take a look at it. Again, I watched a little bit of his Twitter thing. He went at a piano. And uh, he'd have guests. I know he had, didn't he have Sutter and John on, I think. But uh, I'll take a look at that. You know, I started this myself because um, uh, I had no content to add much more. Uh, I've kind of run out of folks to interview. I'm going to keep trying, of course. That's part of this is to see if there's anybody out there you guys want me to try to get. We'll work on Debbie Schlossel. But um, Ella Clownvis is a St. Louis performer. So he's a clown who sounds like Elvis, and does magic. And he does a live stream once a week, and it was hilarious, and I'm like, I want to do that. And he had Wendy, the slow adult, call. Uh, and she calls all the time to that show now. So now I need to get Wendy over here somehow. We got, that's, that's, all right. Would you guys like it if I got Wendy over here? And we can just ask Wendy questions live? Maybe I'll try that. I got to work on the next thing, is we're going to try to get this where we get uh, people kind of in Zoom and kind of, We'll talk about that, but uh, let's see here. Let me look at the uh, comments. Charlie says, Casey is not good. Sorry, but I have to be honest. So mentally, is that what we're talking about? Probably. Okay. Top three least favorite Stern personies, personalities and why Jacob is asking the group. So yeah, let's let's do that. Casey was good when he had Stuttering Joe on. I'm assuming that meant Stuttering John, um, but there, I thought there was a Stuttering Joe. Vincent, do you listen to current shows or only go back to old shows via YouTube? I don't know if that's for the group. Now I can say for me, I'm listening just for this port. I wouldn't do this if I didn't have to. I wouldn't listen to them at all because I do go listen and it's not good. Uh, commenters are coming through here. Everybody seeming one, seemingly wants to have Wendy here. Let me get that. Let me, let me make sure I note that. Wendy, this is good. I can at least have a better note-taking system over here. Wendy, let's get Wendy on. Uh, Casey's show is bad, says Charlie. Okay, I would love for you to still go and watch Casey. No, I'll take a look. I want to see what he's doing. I, but I've, I, if it's the same thing that he's doing on Twitter, I, you know, I, and I like Casey. Um, I know I wasn't real entertained, I'm going to say. But there's no baseball on the night, so uh, I think we're going to try to watch Curb, but uh, we'll see. Leo asked, does Beth walk away with 33% or more once he's gone? Well, I think she would get 50% or all of it. Like, what, what does once he's gone mean? She's going to, man, she's going to have, but I mean, she seems so trapped right now, right? I don't know. Everybody wants Wendy to be part of the program, so we will work on that. I appreciate that. Charlie says, I looked at Casey's channel. He hasn't streamed in nine days. So, see, I'd be sitting here waiting for a Casey stream, and then I don't know if I'd be waiting that long. I think I missed an F. Mary Kill. Let me see what that was here. Hello, sorry about that, Charo. F. Mary Kill, Lisa G. Robin Penny Crone. Lisa G. Robin Penny Crone. Okay, Kill Penny. Um, Mary... Hmm. Robin? Because Robin, you like maybe get to travel and have some fun with it, and she has money. <laughs> yeah. Then, then she's a sugar mama, and then, uh, you know, Lisa G, you can be done with. Uh, yeah, I think this putting Penny Crone in there is probably 
probably there. Hello, Vincent. Are you on the subreddit? I read it. I take a look at it every once in a while. So I, I run in there. I, if we're talking about the Howard Stern subreddit, I like to, I see what's going on in there. So yeah, I take a look. I like to uh, reset as well. So we are live. What we do here is uh, I go back and look at moments from the show on this date. And we talk about them. It, it kind of gets conversation going. I've interviewed a bunch of Stern staffers over the last four years on this channel. So folks come in and we all have a nice discussion going and we do it live. And then I paste it later. So thank you for coming. We do have super thanks, super chats. I have products you can buy. So thank you for that. Uh, but right now I'm just reading what folks are asking. Um, Casey had a breakdown talking about Anne Marie and stuttering. You keep calling him Joe. Is it actually Joe or is it John? Either way. Yeah, I know he, he had a relationship with that uh, Anne Marie. So you're saying he hasn't been right since those streams. Okay, well, maybe I'll have to go back and look at those from the past and see what he was up to. But uh, Casey's been on this program, and uh, again, we've talked a lot. And I'd like to have him back on, um, but I know he was trying to do his own thing, and I totally get that. Um, stuttering John's been on this program, but I, again, no, he's doing his own thing. Uh, so King, you say Casey was on last night. Uh, his show's crazy, but fun. It's Charlie says it's uh, stuttering, stuttering John, not stuttering Joe. I assume that. Maybe it's stuttering Vic. Was there a stuttering Joe that's on the show for a second? I, by the way, I watched last night, so... You know, I get these YouTube holes, and I do this, and then I start watching old Stern stuff, and it was stuttering John with Walter Cronkite and Tommy Lasorda back to back. When he gets thrown out of the Tommy Lasorda, he's just whispering. And then Fred played this this sound effect of a bomb dropping before. <laughs> Does what? What was it? Oh, do your roids bleed <laughs> from sitting in the dugout so much? And Lasorda. Just get so pissed off. And you're the bot. Anyway, the show was so good back then. What is Casey's channel called, Jimmy is asking. I think it's just called Casey Armstrong, if it's, if it's right. Uh, Charlie says he must have taken the show down, or it was membership only. Vincent asks, Shuley fans saw him live many years ago. I like Shuley. Shuley and I are cordial. He's been on this program. And uh, we've talked uh, since then. Um, so, yeah. I don't... I don't listen to the Dabbleverse. I don't really get into the Dabbleverse myself. Um, they got their own thing going over there, and I think they're doing well, so I don't think they, they don't need any part of me. But maybe one day we'll all converge together in our sterndom. Uh, so let's see. Anything else? I'm going to go ahead and wrap up, I think, for today. This was another good day of discussion. We had a super chat come in and a super thanks, which is really the reason I do this. <laughs> Just kidding. I love talking to you. I love, this is my highlight of my day. We get to talk Stern stuff. I get to talk about what I watched. We got the Cardinals coming up uh, against the Dodgers tomorrow. We got Mets and Brewers. The Yankees D backs, I believe, right? Is that they're starting with the, the D backs? So many good games with the Padres playing the Giants? Maybe? No, that doesn't sound right. But anyway, baseball starts tomorrow. It makes me excited. For now, I'll be watching YouTube. Uh, but I appreciate you all coming here today. We'll do it again soon. Keep an eye, uh, always keep the notification bells going and uh, alerts uh, on because you never know, I might just pop in. But I always like to schedule these things out so you can see it, you can plan your day around it. And uh, I can't say thank you enough. I love when you guys come here. What's for dinner? Uh, chicken pasta. Uh, white pasta. It's good. I will mention I had a wonderful lunch today, uh, Joya's in St. Louis. If anyone is ever traveling through St. Louis, it's a famous salami place, and the, the sandwiches are as big as my flower pot I made here. Uh, so I'm a little little slow right now because uh, I got the I got the salami gurgles. Um, but anyway, thank you everybody. Thank you for coming. Uh, I see, folks are taking off, so I'm going to take off as well. This is fun. Maybe be back tomorrow. I doubt it. Um, but we'll definitely be back before Monday. Let's say that. Let's try to be back before Monday. Bye for now. Bye for now.